Tonight, we have news of a medical breakthrough that could help thousands of women desperate to start families. It's an innovative process of DNA testing and in vitro fertilization. Arlinda Hurtado takes a closer look at the treatment and how it's brought two bundles of joy to one woman in Tampa. Hello! Ryan Clyde peeks out from his crib. His twin sister, Madeline, is in the crib close by. Hi, cutie. Two medical miracles, if you ask mom. In an effort to get pregnant, Jill tried in vitro fertilization four times. That's very emotional and all. It's about a six-week time span from the beginning where you start your injectable medicines, you start all your different hormones, your pills. But they had no success. It's really tough, yeah. After all you go through, it's tough. Still, Jill and her husband refused to give up. Like anyone, they looked to the web for answers. And they came upon infertility expert, Dr. Jeffrey Schur. The Clyes heard that Dr. Schur was studying and using a new process along with in vitro. We developed a genetic test that enables us to identify the exact competency of an embryo. The test, called CGH, checks the fertilized egg to make sure it has all 23 pairs of chromosomes. Most birth defects, like Down syndrome, are caused by abnormal embryos. This test can tell you very accurately whether that embryo will make a baby, and if we put one such embryo into a woman's uterus, it'll make a baby more than 70% of the time. Genetic screenings like this have been used in the past for cancer research. Dr. Schur says no one has ever used it to determine if an embryo is normal and healthy before it's placed in a woman's womb. Dr. Schur says the new process doubles Maybe, IVF yeah. success rates, yeah. reduces the chance of miscarriages, and virtually eliminates the chances of multiple births. Because you only have to put in one at a time instead of putting a whole lot of embryos in, which is much like throwing a lot of spaghetti against the wall in the hope that a strand sticks, and often too many stick, or nothing sticks, as is more often the case. In Jill's case, three embryos came back genetically normal. She and her husband chose to implant two. After Christmas, we went in for the ultrasound and found out there were two. <laughs> Jill spent about $75,000 in all before giving birth to her baby twins. What would you say to other women who are going through this IVF cycle and it's not working? Don't give up. You know, both doctors that I had been to previously, people loved and they had great success with them. And, you know, they just didn't work for me. Dr. Schur wants women to know this is not a test to produce good embryos. It's a test to identify them. So not every woman will be a good candidate. If you'd like to know more about Dr. Schur's procedure, go to abcactionnews.com and click on health. Linda Hurtado, ABC Action News.